Hello everyone, today we're here to bring you some breaking news. As you may know, one of the country's prominent figures, Donald Trump, is currently embroiled in a legal case. But did you know that a new twist has emerged? A judge during his hush money trial has issued a jail threat against him. Yes, you heard that right. And how did Trump respond? He stated that he would risk jail time rather than bowing down to his adversaries. Wow. But will this decision strengthen his campaign? Let's delve deeper into this news. In this video, we'll explore the full story and its political implications. So without further ado, let's get started. The judge has threatened the former president with possible jail time, something Trump and his supporters think may bolster his campaign. Donald Trump said that he would rather risk imprisonment then comply with a gag order in this ongoing criminal trial, just hours after the judge overseeing the criminal hush money trial threatened to put the former president in jail. Frankly, our constitution is much more important than jail. Trump said that to the press in the hallway of the Manhattan courthouse. It's not even close. I'll do that sacrifice any day. Wow, that's incredible. Justice Juan Merchant on Monday held the former president in contempt for the second time and warned that he faced imprisonment if he broke the gag order that bars him from publicly commenting on jurors, witnesses, and others involved in the case. But the former president has already violated this order and received $10,000 worth of fines since the trial began, $1,000 for each violation. It appears that the $1,000 in fines is not serving as a deterrent. Going forward, this court will have to consider a jail sanction, Merchant said on Monday. But the presumptive GOP nominee quickly used the contempt ruling to build support on the campaign trail and with his donors as he had done last week after Merchant ruled that the former president violated the gag rule. A fundraising email sent Monday before court was out said, the liberal judge in New York just threatened to throw me in jail with emphasized red lettering and the subject line, they want me in handcuffs. The email encouraged supporters to stand with Trump and directed donations to a joint fundraising committee launched this spring. Trump National Committee JFC, which sends money both to Trump's campaign account and the Republican National Committee. Both entities are being outraised by their Democratic counterparts. The contempt rulings provide Trump with a new way to criticize the trial and criminal justice system, which he has asserted is unfair and biased against him. Throughout the 2024 campaign, Trump has railed against the four separate criminal cases against him, claiming that he's being unfairly targeted, while at the same time sending out fundraising solicitations. Republicans strenuously defended the former president after each indictment and rallied to his support. The day he took a mugshot in Fulton County, Georgia, he raised more than $7 million, making it his campaign's single biggest fundraising day of the cycle. Such events have led his supporters to welcome a possible escalation in consequences for Merchant. And that wraps up our coverage on the latest development in the Trump saga. Stay tuned for further updates on this story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content, and thank you for watching.